Back with another video for you today, and I have a special guest here, Dahlia. She's a perfume lover, right? Would you call, call yourself I'm a frag a head? I'm a, yes. Frag head. <laughs> today we're doing a comparison video with uh, two fragrances from I Profumi Firenze. They're both patchouli fragrances. We've got patchouli rosso and... Dolce patchouli. These are two completely different patchouli fragrances. We're going to do a comparison, as I said, and you're also going to have a chance at winning samples of both, plus a sample of their very popular Vanilla de Madagascar, all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching the videos here but still have not subscribed, please click the subscribe button below so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And today, as I said, we are reviewing the two patchouli fragrances from I Profumi di Firenze, Patchouli Rosso. And Dolce Patchouli. First, let's find out a little bit about Dahlia. Tell me a little bit about your interest in perfumes. I think that scent and smelling is sort of the, the forgotten scent, it scents I should say. It's, um, you know, we're all very aesthetically driven, we're focused on how we look, we talk a lot about how things feel, but uh, people aren't really talking about how things smell very much, so um, I feel like I'm in on a secret and it's a lot of fun. That's true. Do you know this brand? I do. The lovely Antonia Cole at Tiger Lily carries this brand. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a great brand. Uh, they sell them at Tiger Lily. Of course, they also sell them at beautyhabit.com and a few other um, uh, stores. Uh, but you can also get it from links in the info box. I'll have links in the info box for you to check out. But uh, a little info about this uh, fragrance. Patchouli Rosso came out in 1992. The notes are bitter wood and patchouli. So this is a in-your-face, really um, earthy, woody patchouli. And with uh, Dolce Patchouli, it's the complete opposite, actually. Um, so uh, just going back to Patchouli Rosso, Patchouli Rosso means red patchouli or patchouli red, whereas Dolce Patchouli means sweet patchouli. And it is it a is. sweet patchouli. Yeah. This was... This was launched in 2011, and for notes, you've got at the top orange. In the heart, you've got geranium, violet, and heliotrope. And in the base notes, you've got coniferous woods, cedar wood, patchouli, and amber. Both of them retail for $110 for 50 ml bottles. And they're gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. As you can see here, I absolutely love this packaging. Very kind of Renaissance-inspired look, and really beautiful uh, bottles and the fragrances come in eau de parfum concentration and they last a really, really great amount of time. So shall we smell these? Yeah, totally. Okay, so patchouli rosso actually is for the patchouli, like in your face patchouli lover. So. It's the traditional patchouli. It's a very, uh, like you said, earthy, but it has a kind of warmth to it. Um, I don't know why it's called patchouli red. I don't, I don't get that either. I don't really get a color from it, but um, it's fresh, it's bright, but there's a sort of a natural feel to it and a little bit of that tiny, tiny touch of the gourmand feel that sometimes patchouli has, mm -hmm. just like, just a, like just a chocolate, a, scotch, a little, little bit. Um, it's, it's very clean. There's no head shop kind of smell to it. No, this is not a head shop kind of patchouli at no, all. No, it's, it's a really nice one. Uh, it's very well done. It's subtle, I would say. Um, this isn't going to knock anyone over. Um, yeah, it's subtle, but in a in a way that it's it's like it is subtle, but I feel like it's like big. It's a big beastly That's kind of true. patchouli, but but you wouldn't necessarily notice it as patchouli. Like somebody who didn't know, somebody might just say that you smell nice. They wouldn't say like, oh, you smell like patchouli. This is this is a but it's a very warm sort of bouquet of patchouli. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. But it's almost like it's all the details of particular thing removed. Like if, if you uh, build a car uh, and you have all these like extra, you know, details of things, features, it's stripping all those features yeah. and giving you just the woods and the patchouli, I think. I, I think you're right. And it is, it's bitter wood and patchouli, but the wood exists to push the patchouli forward. You kind of don't notice the woods that are in it. It's just this lovely sort of beautifully formed patchouli. Do you get a little bit of a vetiver vibe in there? I get a little bit of a vetiver, something dark and inky 
and along with the patchouli. I, just, I don't get dark from this. I there's a little fizzy quality mm. that maybe is what I associate with vetiver there, and that might just be the woods that are in it. Okay. But I like this one a lot. I like this a lot. Yeah. This is really love. There's a, a it's a, it's more clean than dark and inky. I wouldn't say soapy. Well, no, yeah, and I'm not saying that it's. Hmm, dirty if I'm saying it's no. dark and inky. There's this darkness under it. It's an underlying darkness in it, but it's delicious. Yeah, it's it's great, great. So really, I recommend. So let's compare it with the other one. Yes. So the other one, Dolce Patchouli, is in this bottle, as you can see, the the, the colors of the juices are completely opposite. Uh, one's really dark and orange, and the other one's very cl clean and clear. So let's smell this one. So dolce patchouli means sweet patchouli, and here you've got the word patchouli second, whereas in patchouli rosso you've got patchouli, uh, the, the word patchouli as the first word. I feel so that is significant. That's important to know. Yes, this is, um, this has like significantly more ingredients than uh, patchouli rosso. This is definitely patchouli, but I find it to be a clean, citrusy, almost almondy patchouli. I really can't focus on the patchouli with the geranium and the orange and there's a lot of sort of light florals that are on the top right now that are really distracting. I don't get woods, I don't, I'm, I'm not really getting any base yet from it. Um, it's a very light, kind of pleasant, fresh. Um, yeah, it's pleasant. It's very pleasant. It's very, to me I think this is like for the patchouli hater. <laughs> Yes. So if you're opposed to that patchouli earthy yeah. woodiness. Yeah, if you have that reaction to patchouli where it's just like, oh, this um, might be a way to, this might be like a gateway drug for you, <laughs> maybe. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, it's it's very fresh. It has a, um, I could see this having a sort of broad appeal. Um, it's, it's, the orange is really accessible. Mm -hmm. uh, the heliotrope is very accessible. I don't get a lot of woods. There's ambers in the base. There's patchouli in the base. I, is the patchouli coming out yet? Yeah, I, I get the patchouli, but maybe because I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm picking it's it up. It's very, it's, it's bright and it's accessible. I would, if it, if I were to pick one of the two, it would be the, the patchouli, the patchouli rosso. rosso. But I like patchouli. Uh, to me, I find dolce patchouli um, a fragrance that you're not going to make a statement with when you're wearing it. Yes. And if you want to make a statement, you're going to wear this one. It's definitely patchouli, but I don't think this one would knock anyone over. Um, maybe it's more of a statement. Like, this would be a nice gift. I think the dolce patchouli would be... Um, you you could feel confident uh, if you were, and it is a pretty bold move to buy a fragrance for somebody. People, I mean, but if you were going to get a gift for somebody, the dual shape patchouli is accessible to more people maybe than the patchouli rosso. It's just, it's light and fresh and clean. Clean. But it's, even though it has patchouli in the name, it's, it's. It's definitely a sweeter patchouli. It's a sweet take on patchouli. Dolce. Uh, Dolce, yeah. Um, so. I mean, I like both, but if I want a true patchouli out of the two, it's definitely patchouli rosso. Which is delicious. Yeah, and we both love patchouli. It's we're patch, we're, patch hose. We're, yeah, we're known as patch hose and anybody that loves patchouli. Uh, but yeah, if you don't know this brand, guys, I Profumi di Firenze, they have really great releases. One of their most popular is um, the Vanilla de Madagascar, which I have a review for on this channel if you want to watch it. Uh, it does come in the 50 ml bottles like this for 110. But the Vanilla de Madagascar is also sold at Barney's stores and you can pick up a 100 ml bottle for under $200. So it's a good, great deal. And if you like vanilla fragrances, you should definitely check that out. But if you're curious to try the patchoulis, I'll have links in the info box to retailers that sell uh, these fragrances. But we're also doing a giveaway and the giveaway is for a sample of each and a sample of their most popular Vanilla de Madagascar to uh, three winners on this channel. So all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel and put a comment down below and let me know what your favorite patchouli fragrance is currently. Do that and also please put down your state. This is a, uh, open to uh, USA residents. So we'll run the randomizer and select three of the top names that come up on the list. And if you're one of them, you'll get to try these two plus their vanilla. 
But if you're not, definitely click the links below to head over to the retailers that sell these fragrances because I think you're gonna like these, especially if you're not a fan of patchouli and you want something a little more fresh or you like the earthiness of the patchouli and you want something a little more strong. If you wanna be in the in crowd, kind of want to give it a go. Check it out. Be a yes. Pacho. Be a Pacho. <laughs> Pacho, uh, Pacho's United. Yes, join the club. <laughs> cool. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please list below. Let me know what your favorite patchouli fragrances are. And if you don't like patchouli, let me know why you don't like patchouli. You probably only think you don't like patchouli. It has a really bad reputation, but it's lovely. It's misunderstood. Do you think it has a bad reputation I because do. of hippies and... Yeah, I, I think there's just this association with like Nag Champa and like unclean okay. people. Okay, <laughs> that's what it is. But I, it's delicious. It, you, you, can, you can appreciate it. Misunderstood. Patchouli, it really, really Undervalued. can. Undervalued. Yeah, I love patchouli, I absolutely love it. And what changed it for me was Angel and Angel for Men. I mean, yeah. amen, those two fragrances. Once I started wearing them, I became a patch hoe. I mean, <laughs> patch hoe is anonymous. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think I even realized how many fragrances have patchouli in the in the heart. Um, it it just snuck into my collection. I think for me it was Aramis. Aramis. Yeah. Uh huh. The men's. The men's. It's it oddly it's really unisex. Um, my dad wore it growing up. A lot of people my have dad a dad association. Um, Barbara Ehrman writes about the Burt Reynolds ads. Um, so, so it, it does have that kind of retro kind of association, but it's really classic and translates to modern day really well. And the patchouli in the heart is gorgeous, very unisex, very, especially for women who are thinking about trying traditionally male sort of masculine fragrances, which I, they're not really that gendered, but this is a great crossover. Yeah. That's anyway, that's where that was my first patchouli. Mm. Interesting. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.